what I'm curious is how, like, what is one thing that somebody can do this week to apply that coaching perspective to their own life? That awareness. Or even a question they can ask themselves. My, my favorite question that I've been playing with, and I use a lot in co- my coaching, I realize, yeah, I have, I have some, some standard coaching questions that I would say are almost habitual or habitual ways of thinking. One of those is looking at seemingly negative things and asking, what's the benefit of this? Mm-hmm. And sometimes the benefit might just be, look, there's a message that I need to move and do something else. Or the benefit is it's building up my stamina and ability to stay with something hard. Mm-hmm. Or the benefit is, I don't know of anything right now. I just got, I, I just need to breathe. Like, you know, it, uh, but I, I do like this question. What is the seeming, what is this, what is the benefit of this seemingly negative thing? Mm-hmm. Like, for example, uh, let's say you're wanting to start up a coaching practice and you need clients in order to make the bills happen that month and make things work. When you ask yourself, what's the benefit of money pressure? It starts to shift it just a little bit. And that shift can be subtle, but also extremely important. And as you, well, I had to do it. I had to do it uh, in my own experience. And then you start asking the question, how can I use this money pressure? Or what's this money pressure? You know, how, how can I? not have it overwhelm me, but actually use it as a tool. Uh, what I found is that there is a sweet spot where a little bit of pressure is helpful to, for me, and for, and for a lot of other people too, but for, for me, me specifically, uh, there seems to be like a, a sweet spot of pressure that's created. Uh, and to be able to be self-aware enough to go, okay, I wanna, I'm going to, to operate and like create my life around this sweet spot where I know like a little bit of pressure, not too much, you know, like you can dial it up and down. It's that level of sensitivity and awareness that um, you can start to, to hone in on. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, I've really got like hundred things going through my mind with that question. <laughs> I'm like, yep, I got a journal later. <laughs> right, question. process. I feel like, <laughs> I, I feel like I wish I could have, uh, you know, like a pensive, like a, like a pensive processor where you just take the, the, the thing that needs to be processed and, you know, put it in your little processor and go, oh, great. That's kind of like a coaching session, you know, like we just processed an idea and then now we have to go back to it. So, um, yeah, my goodness. that would be awesome. <laughs> It's called coaching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, they work. well, and I think with, with that too, the, the power of bringing somebody else into this too, I think is incredibly uh-huh. transformative. There's, we can do a lot of work on our own and, you know, we can have awareness and all these things, but bringing somebody into that space, oh man, it's just a whole nother level. And for, for you to feel known and seen, by somebody in your processes and your stories and all those things allows, I think of sometimes us to see even truer version of ourselves or a more empowered version of ourselves than we can on our own. Um, and so, yes, the process, that would be cool for some things, but ultimately people I think can really help enhance that experience for our own personal journey, journeys as well. Mm-hmm. I think you got to the heart of it, Ashley, whereas they were in that process, people, get to hear themselves in a shared space where they can become a more empowered version of themselves, which goes back to the root of the word authentic from author. We literally get to be a a more empowered author of our lives. And that to me is when people are really stepping into authenticity and empowerment uh, is when they, when they take authorship. Yeah. That's so cool, John. Thank you. Well, we're, I think we're at our time that went by so fast. Thank you for your insights today. It was really awesome. Ooh, this is so much fun. Ashley, it's fun to have you on these. <laughs> I know this is really, I mean, I'm literally like, oh, I'm for sure going to journal later. <laughs> so <I'm> just, <laughs> no, this you know, is super least, fun. You know, three times a quarter or something. We can, we can work it in there. Maybe you and Raj, maybe we don't need me here every, every week. Well, we can, we can work, we can work some things out. But yeah, let us Anytime know. Anytime I get to hang out with y'all, it's great. Yeah, yeah. Tell, tell us in the comments about what what you'd like to see and, and where these things are going. I am loving these, and like I said, we have more more to come. 
And also, uh, we're going to be doing a coaching demo library and rolling those out here in the next couple of weeks. Uh, and I'm excited for those. I feel like those will help people get uh, an actual sense. Okay, this is what coaching is. This is how it works. This is what it is and isn't. Um, so yeah, we have a lot more content to come. Oh yeah, lots more. Stay tuned, everybody. We'll keep you posted. And if you're not on the weekly newsletter right now, let us know so we can put you on there. That's where a lot of this information is coming out on. And we want to keep you in a loop. We want to hear from you, have your ideas and everything. So that'd be great. Thank you. Thanks, John. See you. Thanks, Ashley.